Evernote and Notion are two popular note taking services. This video explores Evernote versus Notion and covers which one is for you. Both are available for Windows PC, Mac OS, iOS, Web and Android. Both offer free plans but to extend your limitations you can subscribe to any of the paid plans. Both use the same design on the desktop. On the left hand side we can see all the notes while clicking on each of course opens that note. The way we add content is different. Notion is a blog based note taking service. It supports over 30 types of blogs such as heading, list, quote, link, table and more in a single note. It makes it easier to create notes similar to Wikipedia or complex looking web pages. Understanding Notion can be difficult at first because the service is a multi-level tool. For example, adding a full page calendar allows you to add pages for each day. You will have to experience each block to understand the power of Notion. It also offers to comment and mention users on blocks. Evernote on the other hand comes with a simple yet powerful text editor where you can select fonts, size, color, bold text and other essential tools. It supports notebooks and in each book you can add notes. Both offer a sturdy search bar which can search for titles as well as text inside notes. Both allow sharing of notes. Notion comes with the permissions system. You can add members, enable disable public access and share link with your friends. Evernote also offers to share link and add members to edit the notes. The good thing about Evernote is it provides to share only the note as well as the whole notebook. Moving to mobile apps. Again, Notion supports all the block types. Evernote comes with editing tools and to use them you can tap on this A button on the top. The features are limited compared to the desktop app. Both support the dark theme, trash and attaching of audio, video, images and other types of files. A couple of compelling tools of Evernote are handwriting and the intelligent camera. If you want to draw or write something then Evernote offers this feature in its mobile app. The intelligent camera is also something to note because it can help you take photos of business cards, documents and whiteboards. The camera adopts the power of artificial intelligence to crop the images and only save the required area. Notion lacks those features but it offers to change styles and export the note in HTML, PDF and Markdown markup language. Both offer templates on desktop as well as mobile apps. You can start with pre-made templates to get an idea of your imagination. The templates are offered in the free plans. Other than that, Evernote supports apps. Well, you can find most of the apps on the app center and for most of the apps you need to create an account. You can filter out the apps for specific platforms. Before going to pricing, let's cover the web clipper tool which both tools provide. Notion's web clipper is an extension for Chrome which helps you save web pages to your database. All you have to do is give it a name and click on the save page button. You can open the page by clicking on the open button or by going to your notes. Well, the extension works well but it has limited features compared to Evernote's web clipper. The clipper offers to save the article, simplified version of the article, the entire page, bookmark or keep a screenshot of the page. When the extension window is open, you can see the highlighted area on the web page. It indicates what the app is going to take. You can also adjust the highlighted area by clicking on these plus and minus buttons. Lastly, let's talk about pricing. Notion Free offers to add unlimited members while it only allows up to 5 MB of uploads. There is also a block limit of 1000. The paid version which costs $4 per month is available for each user separately. It gives unlimited MB of uploads while you also get unlimited blocks to add and 
it keeps your editing history for 30 days. There is a team plan available which you can get by contacting the support. You can also enjoy the personal $4 per month plan for free if you have your student email. Evernote on the other hand allows two devices at the same time. You get 60 MB of upload limit every month and the note size is limited to 25 MB as well. The premium plan is for $5.50 per month which allows unlimited devices, 10 GB of upload limit and 200 MB of note size. There is a business plan available if you have a team to work with. I believe Notion is the winner in terms of pricing. It is cheaper and gives more tools. Overall, it depends on what the user wants. If you want a simple note taking service, then both will do the job. Notion is more potent regarding editing tools, but Evernote makes it easy to work and manage. Anyway, I hope the video helped. Please share your views in the comments down below. Also, like, share and subscribe to my channel for more comparison, reviews and how-to videos. My name is Madhusudan and I am signing out.